Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to add a border to your Microsoft Word document. So it can be very useful to know how to do this. Sometimes you want to have a nice border surrounding your page, nice broidery. So in this brief tutorial I will be showing you guys how to do just that. So we're going to jump right into it and start by left clicking on the design tab at the top. Should be the fourth tab over from the left. So you want to left click on design. And then on the far right there should be something that says page borders. You want to left click on that. We have quite a few options we can work with here. You're more than welcome to play around with it a little bit on your own. But I'm just going to give you guys a basic overview of the more common kind of borders you just want to work with. So let's just say you want a traditional box here. Just select the second option and apply to. You want to make sure it's set to the whole document. You can adjust the width on the left side here. So if you don't think it's wide enough, you can make it larger. Go all the way up to six points. So that's pretty big. I don't really know why you'd want it that big. But hey, I mean, you're more welcome to do whatever you want. And then underneath art, you're more than welcome to do some custom options along the borders too. You can make it really fancy. So. I don't know. Let's uh, let's put these stars. Let's do a star border. Might as well apply it to the whole document. 12 width. Okay. And you can see now we have a starred border. Go back underneath page borders up at the top. We can get rid of that if we wanted to just by selecting none and then click on OK. But before we do that, let's try something else out. Let's do 3D. And I'll see what happens to the stars. It looks like they might have changed a little bit, so they might jump out a little bit more when you print them out. But let's, instead of doing art, let's just go back to none, set it to 3D. And you, you can see it really depends on what you're actually doing. Straight lines are not going to appear 3D no matter how straight they are. You can't make them any straighter. So um, if you had other kinds of backgrounds, you could apply a little bit of a shadow effect to them. Again, it's probably not the greatest example with just black lines, but you can notice that the bottom looks a little bit darker than the left side here. So there definitely is a little bit of a 3D effect coming through. And again, you guys really are going to have to play around with it to what you're looking to get out of it. And if you scroll around and do the styles area, this is where you can really kind of get fun and do some creative ideas and kind of really enhance the border and get more of the 3D effect you might be looking for and so forth. So again, you have a lot of fun different borders you can select from. So I do hope that this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.